All right, YouTube was good. It's your boy Jody Joe. Welcome. Breaking news: an update as of five fifteen p.m. Eastern time. Uh, John Berg has spoken. John Berg has come out and he has spoken, and we have something here for you guys. This is a juicy nugget from IndieWire. Here's an update: Warner Brothers. From Variety. Sorry, they quoted Variety. The quoted Variety. IndieWire quoted Variety. It says Warner Brothers co-president of production John Berg tells Variety that it is quote categorically untrue that we enabled any unprofessional behavior in the wake of Ray Fisher's statement. He says, I remember Fisher being upset that he wanted him. We wanted him to say booyah, which was a well-known saying of cyborg in the animated series. So it looks like John Berg is like, yo, we didn't, we have, ah, this is untrue. And then he's throwing a little bit of defense in there for, for, for Joss Whedon saying, you're mad. I remember you being mad because we wanted you to say booyah when that's a huge, uh, that's the trademark for uh, for Cyborg in the cartoon series. It's kind of making him look like a diva based on what I've seen here. So it's a shot fired back well, at, also, at Ray Fisher. It's, you're totally correct, but it's also a protect my ass sort of first start statement. Of like, that too. Nothing, and there was, we can say there was no, uh, uh, you know, enabling it. So he's not denying that it could happen, but he's we didn't know about it, is what he's saying in that beginning part. And then, yeah, he's totally tacking on a, oh, by the way, fans, he didn't want to say the catchphrase. Pfft, can you believe it? What a loser. It's, it's, <laughs> it's crazy. It's totally tone deaf and stupid. It's like, oh, That's my goodness. Good. Why would you even tap that in? I remember him saying that. It's like, come on, dude, really? That's your, that has nothing to do with what the issue is at hand. But again, it shows why Ray Fisher is, I don't know, it's uh, look. I don't like that he's doing this, but it's the smart way to do it. If you're going, if you're if you're attacking somebody, go broad first, because then it, see what happens. It forces them to reply, and then you got more ammo when you're ready for the next text. And typically, you don't attack someone publicly like this, like Ray did. You don't even make the broad accusation until you have your next three steps prepared. So it's like you know, because I remember when my when my you know allegations came out, there was a, so many ways I tried to do it where I was going to sort of needle like drop it and, and get her to try and deny it. So then I could drop even more is sort of the tactic, right? So you always want to be careful of like how you do it. And so it does feel like Ray's calculated and it feels like John Berg is trying to like spin it and say, see, you got nerds. He's not a nerd. You should be mad at him. Don't look at us. This is wild. Uh, I, look, I'm going to say this because I want I wanted to hear what Ray Fisher's statement was as far as the abuse and the uh, gross behavior and stuff like that. And this response is the first thing that we get in into what he said, like like from John Berg. He says categorically untrue that we enabled any unprofessional behavior. I remember Fisher being upset that we wanted him to say booyah. And it's like, you're right. He's throwing a stone back at him. This shows combativeness. It doesn't show, uh, uh, uh oh, he, he knows something on us and he's about to expose us. It, it, what I'm hearing by the context, it looks like John Berg is flexing a little bit. And he, it looks like he's yeah. flexing, like you ain't got nothing on me. And about my boy Joss, I remember when you didn't want to say booyah. Now what? Ray what? Fisher, it's got to be more than this. Ray Fisher, it's oh. got to be more than just some booyah sheet. It's there, there. There's another layer. There's another layer than this. It, this is not it. This is it. It has to be more than this than just some or, booyah or creative differences. Or it's not, and then look at how ridiculous this oh is. Oh my god! Ray no, Fisher no. really was going to look stupid. Oh no! Because no. it's like, that as we said in our previous stream, like this movement, you know, we, people are going to listen to Ray Fisher right now. Like that's what we have. We what has to do right now. Uh, and the reality is, he can spin this any way he wants to. He can say whatever he wants, and if he wanted to be a jerk, right? So, look. But it, it, I agree, John Berg. It's a little bit like, come on, dude, that, don't bring up the booyah right now. But what does that have to do with it? Like clearly, John. Berg I think I think I think that's John throwing Joss uh, uh, alley oop. He was throwing Joss alley oop when he mentioned that he was. It shows that he was a headache on set. They're, it's trying to make it look like Ray Fisher was a diva. Yeah. Like I refuse to say booyah, giving Joss a hard time, which is probably why Joss why he would say that about Joss. That is a very calculated response. It's it's distancing distancing himself. From Joss and Ray, and also throwing Joss an alley oop. Look, Ray, come out and Ray, say Ray, say what Ray, happened, bro. Joss came in and did them a favor. Joss was a company guy who came That's in true. and literally did what Warner Brothers asked. Right, and he did it. But at the same time, Warner Brothers was doing Joss a favor because remember, Joss was getting all those accusations, and people were like, "Well, should Joss be doing stuff?" And they stepped up, stepped up, and gave him the gig. Granted, it was like sort of an uncredited gig, but. 
they gave him a pretty big high profile gig. And if it had worked, he would have gotten the, the prep, you know, the props. So they were both helping each other out. So I'm sure they're going to have each other's back. And I'm sure Warner Brothers is going to be there quick to defend Joss unless there's more like Me Too stuff that's going to come on unearthed. Yes. So that's like, there's a bigger calculated like, oh, yeah, come on, enjoy this, guys. Start sweating because bah, 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 is what is who knows in this climate we live in. Right. So but that's why when you see Josh just liking tweets, which he's doing, he's not responding, but he's just liking stuff, acting on Twitter like normal. I don't know. That doesn't seem like he cares. Doesn't seem like he's worried. Right. So. Maybe this is nothing. Maybe this is a story of nothing. We'll, we'll I see. Can't it. I can't believe it. The avalanche is coming, Andy. I, I know where you're saying, but for this will be catastrophic for Ray Fisher if that's all that's going on. And I believe there's something else that he knows and has on Joss Whedon. There's, that was just a teaser for a big avalanche that's to come of all the tweets, of all the DMs or messages or experiences, testimonials. It's coming. I've, it, it has to because Ray Fisher is so far out there. There is no turning back. And this is just, you know, John Berg put a, he, he said, all right, balls in your court now. That's what it seems like to me. And only time will tell Ray, please say what happened. I am I'm, You're right. I'm John, ready John, help Berg's making, John Berg's echoing what we're saying. Like, well, what what are you talking about, Ray? You know, that's what it is. <laughs> we didn't. You know, don't put us in this. Jeez. Like, so, but that's the point. If if Ray doesn't have the the receipts ready to come out and drop them, then I'm going to be pissed at Ray. Ray's going to Ray's career is over if that's the case. If, that's why it all feels like why would he do this yeah this if there's hard, you know there's a big I, I don't believe this bro i don't believe i know he has more i believe he has more with every fiber in my body but if he doesn't and this was it his he's done in hollywood it's a wrap it's over and not only that it's gonna hurt the black lives matter movement it's gonna yeah. it's gonna it's gonna hurt that too it's gonna discredit what we're trying so it's 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 more stipulations and there's more at stake than just his own career and that is the truly scary part thank you guys so very much for one for watching i appreciate andy for being here you could subscribe to popcorn planet he'll be live tomorrow at 6 p.m on popcorn planet and i will be making myself a cameo as well thank you guys so very much for watching subscribe to both channels i'm jody joe that's andy and we out this thing man deuces